So next model uh, is a spiral model. Uh, a spiral model uh, is a nothing but a simplified form of uh, previous two model. First is called as a waterfall model, and second uh, is a rapid prototyping model. Just see the uh, difference in spiral model. So spiral model is a uh, simplified form of waterfall model and the rapid prototyping model. Okay. Uh, which is, I will show you the diagram. Uh, okay. So now I will stop my video. Okay. So now this is the uh, diagram of spiral model. Okay. So you just observe again carefully. Uh, that what I have uh, just told that is this is the combination of two uh, types of models. First is a rapid prototype model, and second is a uh, waterfall model. Okay, so what is done in uh, waterfall model? We will uh, design a product according to the uh, according to the phases. So first phase is always our requirement. Second is a specification. Then design phase, implementation, integration, maintenance, and retirement. Okay, that is what done uh, in the waterfall model. That means in waterfall model, the product is ready after completion of all the phases. Okay, and then you can hand over your product to the customer or a client. And now what is done in the rapid prototyping model? The rapid prototyping model, the model is ready or it is hand over, uh, hand over to your client at the first phase of the cycle itself. Okay, so that's called as a rapid prototype model. So you have to hand over the some kind of prototype model to the client. That is called as a rapid prototyping model. So what is done in spiral uh, modeling? In spiral modeling, uh, it will follow or it, it is a mix of uh, both the models. Okay, first is a rapid prototype model and second is a waterfall model. And accordingly, you have to input the performance of your product. Okay, so that is what done uh, in the spiral model. You see the details. Now this is what uh, is a spiral model. Okay, so we'll see what is inside this. Uh, there are four quadrant actually, quadrant one, two, three, and four, and there are different phases. Uh, different work is done in each phase. So now this is all about the spiral model. So I have just told that spiral model is a simplified form of waterfall model plus. Uh, risk analysis. Now we have to see what is a risk analysis. Okay, that means in this model the risk analysis is done. Okay, so what is risk analysis? We'll see in the details also. Risk analysis means what are the risk of developing your uh, product or project in each phase. Okay, now this is the risk. So if I have these kinds of risk, then what is my resolution? That means what is my solution to uh, solve that risk. Okay, so this complete process is called as a risk analysis. So this is a simplified form of waterfall model and rapid prototype model, which having a risk analysis factor. Okay. Now in this particular phase, each phase is preceded by alternatives and risk analysis. That means in each phase, you have to find out the different alternatives of designing that phase. Okay, let I have to design one mobile or let one um, four wheeler car. Okay, so what are my alternatives in each phase? How I will design my uh, mobile or my four wheeler in a different alternatives? Okay, like for example, if you take uh, taken a uh, that is the example of that uh, Maruti Suzuki. So it having different alternatives uh, of designing a car. Okay. You have uh, maybe the uh, uh, you have some from small segment to big segments. So you have number of alternatives for designing your car. Likewise, mobile also having a different phases or different alternatives of, of designing that particular product. That is without Android, with Android. Okay, then you can improve the uh, camera. Okay, then a total battery backup, and you can add number of features into into the uh, particular uh, mobile also. So what are the alternatives of designing a product? Second, risk analysis. Okay, uh, let I have, for example, let I have designed a mobile with uh, so many features. Okay, 
Okay, that is number of features I have included in the mobile. Now, what is the problem with this particular uh, feature? The problem is if I include the number of features, so the size of my uh, particular mobile will get increased. One second, the cost of my mobile is to get increased. Third, the power consumption is increased. Okay, that means that means your battery will drain uh, rapidly. So now this is the risk with the alternative. The first alternative that is that without Android, then with Android. Without Android, you have the less battery drainage. With Android, you are using a lot of features, so your battery will damage. Okay, or it will drain faster. Now this this is called as a risk analysis. Now that means let I have this situation. I will solve by using this particular solution. In the second, if I use second uh, alternative, now I have this risk. And then how to solve that risk? So I, I should have some solution for this. So this is called as a risk analysis. So the risk analysis is nothing but the a different risk. Okay, that is a problem. If I follow one alternative or another alternative, and if I have uh, some problem, then I should have some solution also. So, that solution plus problem is called as a risk analysis. That means in spiral model, all the possibility of uh, possibility of different adverse conditions are taken care in a, that particular phase itself. Okay. The advantage of this is after after the product is ready, okay, or it is launched into the market. Now there is no need to. Oh, then uh, there is no need to think about the different uh, risk or adversity that will come on your product. Okay, because already we have taken the care of different adverse conditions regarding your regarding your that particular product. Okay, and if that kind of adverse conditions will come, and we have the solution that is again ready because already we have think about the uh, we have think about the problem and also the solution. Now this is the important factor in this spiral model. That is, it having a two types or, or it is a combination of two models, waterfall model and the rapid prototyping model, plus it having a risk analysis factor, which is not provided in other model. Okay. Now this is what done in each phase. So in each phase is proceeded with the different alternatives to design the project or to design a product. And also what are the different risks and what are their solutions? Okay, so that are already think in the that phase itself. Next, it will follow each phase by evaluation. Okay, and then planning of the next phase. So you have to evaluate the performance of each phase. And after that, you have to plan the next phase. So that is what done in a spiral, uh, spiral model. Okay, so I will just stop here. I will share one more uh, link with you people. That is a uh, that link. Okay, mostly. Uh, is it visible? Is it feasible to everyone? I have just opened one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I have just opened one link from the uh, Google. Okay, regarding the spiral model. Okay, they have given a very good uh, uh, details of uh, spiral model. So, in spiral model, uh, you have a number of uh, number of stages or number number of phases. Okay, but we have to see what is the risk analysis first. Okay, so I will just read some of the statement from this. Uh, spiral model is one of the most important software development lifecycle models, yes, which provides support for risk handling, very importantly, which supports, provides a support for risk handling. Okay, then we, we have to see what is a risk handling. So in each loop of the spiral is called a phase or software process. Okay. So we are not interested in this. This is common, uh, common uh, platform for all the models. Only the thing is, this particular model would support a risk handling capability. Okay. So first of all, we have to see what is the risk. Okay. So that is what I explained here, the risk handling in spiral model. So what is a risk? So a risk is any adverse situation 
that might affect the successful completion of a software project. Okay, yes, if you design any product, but you have not taken care of one particular condition or some situation. So that time your product may fail. So how to deal with that particular uh, uh, situation that is called as a risk. That means if, for, for example, uh, for example uh, you have a mobile, now what is the risk if you put your mobile in the water? So how, now that is the risk, okay? So it should be waterproof. Your mobile should be waterproof likewise. This is one of, one of the constraints. So this is the risk if you put, um, uh, by chance if you put your mobile into the water, then your uh, mobile will get damaged. Now this is the risk. Now the next thing, now this is the risk. The next is how to handle it, okay? Now this particular process is called as a risk handling. So likewise, each product having its own risk capability and for that you have to find out a solution. So this is called as a risk. So risk is not a, nothing but a, any adverse situation that might comes at any time and we have not think about that particular condition and that uh, many times or most of the time appear in the practical applications. Okay, so that is what the, uh, that is all about this uh, risk handling. Okay, so we come back to the uh, come back to our slide. Uh, now, uh, this is what the uh, diagram for your spiral model. Uh, just uh, you have to see it in the first phase. That is called as a rapid prototype. Now, what is rapid prototype? We have seen what is rapid prototype model. That means your prototype of the model is already given to the customer or client in the first phase itself. Now, in the same there are two phases again. One is the risk analysis, then rapid prototype, and then you have to verify. So we have seen what, what do you mean by verify. Verify means whatever the uh, uh, procedure we will follow, we have to verify that procedure from the client itself. Otherwise, after the completion of the product, client will say that I have not verified the uh, verified the your phases or your requirements so that may happen so that in waterfall model we have to verify uh, our each work okay that is documented by whatever the um, uh, software quality assurance cell okay so you have to verify from software quality assurance cell as well as from the client so that we will get the actual needs of your clients so this is what done in rapid prototype that is you verify the needs of the client but before that uh, before that, you have the risk analysis also. That is, you have to find out the different, what are the risks of handling the, or handovering the particular rapid prototype to the, your client, and also you have to find out the solutions. Okay, so just remember, this is only the change. So in the second stage also, if you observe, specification phase, design phase, implementation phase, integration phase, maintenance phase, okay, all these phases are the, that is a regular phases in all the models. Only the changes in this spiral model is a risk analysis. That means in each phase, the risk analysis is done. Okay, and what is risk analysis? That is what are the different adverse conditions that may appear at the time of designing your product and what are its solutions. So that is called as a simple risk analysis. You see how to uh, prepare your solution before the, before the your problems comes to your design process. Okay, so that is what risk analysis. And in first phase, in second phase, in third phase, in the fifth phase, okay, in all the five phases, if you observe, there is a risk analysis. That means in each phase, a risk analysis is done. That means I have the alternatives. I have different solutions of designing the same project. And so I have the different problems that may arise, okay, and also to solve those problems, I should have a probable solution ready. Okay, so this is the change in this model that is a spiral model. Otherwise, all the flow diagram remains the same. So you have to just remember in spiral model, it is a combination of rapid prototype model plus waterfall model, plus one important support is given that is of risk analysis. Okay. 
Now this is what's shown as a spiral model. So there are four quadrant, and in each quadrant, the different works are done. So in the first quadrant, if you just observe, it will determine the objectives, alternatives, and constraint. Okay. So first, you have to determine the objective. What is your objective? What kind of mobile you want to build? Second, what what are the different alternatives I have? Okay. And what are the constraints under which you have to apply? or you have to build your mobile so that this is what done in the first quadrant of the spiral mode and in the second quadrant we have to evaluate alternatives evaluate means now you have to actually um, uh, calculate or you have to actually perform some kind of simulation on each alternatives then you have to identify which alternative is best okay and resolve the risk and you have to resolve the different risk that may arise in each alternatives of designing the same product okay so that is what done in the second quadrant in the third quadrant you have to actually develop your product then you have to verify next level of the product okay so first product is ready but you can verify the next level product that is you are going to update or revise your product okay so that you can do in the third phase and in the first fourth phase you have to plan the next phases okay that means so you have to plan the next phases so these are the four quadrant of the spiral model now if you again uh, go in detail okay that is uh, starting from the origin so first is you have the uh, requirements that is requirement plan as usual that is uh, that is what the first phase of the uh, any model that is a requirement plan then the requirements oac oac means objectives alternatives and constraints then risk assessment you have to assess the risk then you have to control the risk of designing the product using different alternatives then you have the uh, requirements then you have to validate your requirements then abstract specification plan you have to put the specification because first uh, require first phase is a requirement second is a specification so you have to put the specification plan next is abstract specification oac that is objective alternative and constant then again risk assessment then risk control then abstract uh, abstract specification okay then abstract specification validation then concrete specification plan then concrete specification OAC, then again risk assessment, okay. Then again risk control, then concrete specification, then concrete specification validation and verification. Okay, so that means this is nothing but in each phase you have to do all this work that is starting from the risk assessment, then risk control, okay, then validation, then abstract plan, and then your abstract OAC. So this is what done in each phase. Okay, so that is what shown in this each phase. That is risk analysis done in specification phase. Risk analysis is done in design phase. Risk analysis is done in implementation phase. Risk analysis is done in integration phase and likewise. Okay, so this is what done in the spiral model. Now, what are the advantage of, advantages of spiral model? If you use spiral model, so what are your advantages? So first advantage is it will incorporate the iterative nature of the software development. Okay, That means uh, in each phase, you are going, going to check the different alternatives of designing the product as well as you have assessed the different risk and also you have found out the possible solution in the phase itself okay now what is happened in previous models in previous models we are following the uh, procedure that is in each phase we are following the each phase from requirement specification design implementation likewise after that the product is ready and then hand over to the client and after that if there is any problem comes then you have to again take back that product again and again you have to solve the risk or whatever the problems from that product Okay, now this is the procedure. But now in this spiral model, the possible threats 
that are already calculated by the uh, uh, that model itself and you have the ready made solutions okay that means if any problem comes after launching your product the solution is already ready okay and also i have the different alternatives of uh, designing the same phase so that is what the advantage with spiral model next is it incorporates all the advantages of both the waterfall model and prototyping model okay that means it having the advantage that it having all the advantages that are given by the waterfall model and also it, it will give you the advantages from the rapid prototyping model itself okay means the customer are getting the advantages from both the model that is waterfall model and the prototyping model uh then there are some disadvantages of the spiral model also uh before i will complete the disadvantages uh, right now uh, from this uh, session of 40 minutes i have only 2 minutes that are remaining okay so please try to again rejoin uh, after uh, after the completion of this uh, maybe one and a half minute okay so first disadvantage of the spiral model is it requires expertise in this analysis okay that means uh the designer should be expertise okay he has a he should have a expertise in this particular area of risk analysis because this is another another area actually okay a risk analysis is another area okay so rather than having only the knowledge of software designing and hardware design you should also have a, have a uh, knowledge of risk analysis also okay means you should have some practical uh, practical uh, experience of handling those kinds of product only then you will know what are the risk of uh, designing the product by using first alternative then second alternative third alternative and uh, accordingly you should have a solutions okay so that is what done in the uh, that is requires expertise in risk analysis okay uh, that means the design have a expertise in, in everything else. software hardware analysis in risk analysis areas second disadvantage is each spiral address matches risk that have been identified after all risk are addressed the spiral model terminates so each spiral addresses major risk that have been identified that is the second disadvantage third its philosophy is to is to start small okay Uh, if anybody ask you uh, what is done in the spiral model so this is what the philosophy of spiral model that is you start with a small prototype model then explore the risk okay develop plan 